Okay. Uh. <laughs> Getting ready to go on a date night and Sebastian is gonna be with his grandparents. So I'm just getting as much snuggles as I can. Look at his hair. Look at his haircut. <laughs> his hair has a mind of its own. I love you. Come on, have besitos. Besitos. Mwah, thank you. I love you. Mm, gonna miss you. I love you. Mama. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw, but Sephora had like a like a VAB bonus sale for the summertime. But I placed a second order and I picked up a mask. It is from Glow Recipe and it's the new Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask. I'm actually a little bit nervous to try this because I've heard some people get like an allergic reaction to it. And you guys know I have sensitive skin, but here we go. Anyway, so I just have like a little foundation brush and I'm just gonna go ahead. Although you know what, I should probably, if I do break out, it'll be all right here. So I'm gonna avoid that area just to be on the safe side. I always break out of my chin and like all around my lips. That's seems to be like my sensitive area so and on my nose my nose is so dry right now so it does say to rinse it off after 10 minutes if you're just gonna do like a quick moisture so I'm gonna set an alarm because otherwise I will probably forget so I'm gonna go ahead and try to pick an outfit out right now I think I know what I want to wear already let me show you guys I have this blouse that I bought during the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I think this is what I'm gonna wear and I'm gonna wear like a really cute like lacy bra underneath I'm just trying to decide if I want to wear like um, shorts or jeans or like long jeans with this. But yeah, I think it's so pretty. Normally, while I'm getting ready, I would be playing a podcast. I have been so into podcasts right now. And I mean, you guys know I love watching like um, crime solving shows and things like that. And I found a podcast. It's called Serial. I'm obsessed with it, you guys. It's like the same type of like crime show TV and stuff like that where they like solve and figure out who did it. Um, that is a really good one to listen to. I posted about it on Instagram and a ton of you guys were like, where have you been? You're so late. I'm gonna use a lot of the stuff that I picked up during the Sephora sale. And I actually got this primer right here. This is the Milk Primer. And I saw that Sephora had it in a mini, so I went ahead and picked that up because I didn't want to commit to like the whole thing. Um, but I have been trying this primer out. Definitely understand what the hype is all about. It is a hydrating primer and it also makes your makeup last a lot longer. So I am going to be using the Pat McGrath foundation. So funny story, I had actually already ordered this foundation because it's like the new hot foundation right now. And they actually reached out to sponsor a video. So they sent me even more foundation and also powder. So they are sponsoring today's video. And I'm going to show you guys the shades that I currently have and help you guys determine, like maybe you're interested in this foundation. I can help you guys pick a shade so this is the one that I'm using right now it's called um, it's number 14 and light to medium but then I also have two other shades here this is what the packaging looks like it is so luxe like this bottle is just it it's beautiful like it's just gonna look like a piece of perfume on your counter and then it has a pump so really nice so we have 14 15 and 17 You can see what they look like. I actually think I'm gonna try wearing number 15 today. And this foundation is beautiful. If you like a foundation that looks like skin and isn't like super heavy, that's also like medium buildable, this is a really good one. I haven't tried applying it with a brush. I've only been using it with a beauty blender because I, I picked up a trio of beauty blenders during the Sephora sale and I'm so excited to like start using it again. I do my whole face with two pumps. So I'll do half of my face so you guys can see, but if you like a natural foundation, just use a tiny little bit. Like I can wear this foundation and have my freckles peek through if I really want. That's one pump and you guys can see I have the foundation on this side, no foundation on this side. And you can kind of like see what that looks like. You can still see like a really glowy finish. Um, I'll probably go in with powder because they did send me the powders also and I really want to try them out Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with a, a little bit extra as you guys can see 
I think today I'm gonna do, oh, I kind of want to do like a really glam, like full coverage look. My husband actually went to the gym right now. He told me that he's not gonna rush me. So he's gonna go to the gym so that he isn't sitting around waiting for me. And I was like, that's actually a brilliant idea. So he's at the gym right now. So I have like extra time to get ready today. I think I really like this color, number 15. So I will leave, like if you guys are interested, if you want to buy this foundation online, because I know a lot of Sephora's don't carry it, I'll leave all of the different shades that I am and different brands of foundation below so you guys can reference it. So I'm going to go in with concealer. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer, and this is in the number two. I'm going to use that under my eyes. I like this concealer because it's kind of kind of going with the, the theme where it kind of lets your skin peek through, but at the same time, it is going to brighten. what the powder looks like so oh you guys I have to show you these brushes they're so cute you guys know my friend Steph from SL Miss Glam she just came out with some new makeup brushes and I've been wanting to use them I think this is actually a set of five but I'm missing one of the brushes Sebastian had it earlier this is what they look like they're just pink and they're like gemstones really really cute so this powder does have like a, a slight yellow tint to it, so it's really pretty. I'm also going to bake my smile lines. Oh, I'm doing laundry right now. The load just finished. I'm going to press that powder in all over my face. So I'm going to leave links to all the Pat McGrath products the foundation and the powder down below for you guys so make sure to check it out and I always leave like exact shade numbers and everything in case I like forget to mention it in the video you guys can always find everything down there I'm gonna use my hourglass bronzer I did pick up a blush during the sale and I was so bummed because it came broken but it's from cover effects and it's really cool because it's got one side with blush and then the other side is kind of like a highlighter but it's also like the same shade as the blush so it kind of gives you like a 3d like dimensional look uh, but it's a really pretty like fall color so that is what i'm gonna use you see that i like barely tapped it and it's so so pigmented it's really really pretty though i'm gonna add just a little bit of that other side it gives you like a really soft glow. I like it. So keep on coming closer. I'm still gonna go in with highlight, but I wanted to see what it looked like. So, okay, now I can start a little bit of contouring. Oh, that is intense. Let me go in and blend that out. I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick. Speed it up, because eyebrows are not interesting. I'm just gonna go in and kind of diffuse them a little bit, because they look kind of thick. So I am going to do something like a little bit, I'm going to do like a, like a darker smoky eye. So I'm going to use these two palettes right here. They're both from Jouer. Here's the last brush. I found it. So there's two eyeshadow brushes and three face brushes. You guys remember when I used to do makeup tutorials back in the day and I would use like a little flat thing like this to like help guide my eyeshadow. So still works like a charm. Then I'm going to go into this palette. This one has really pretty like shimmery colors. So I'm going to go in and use that one Midnight Swim. So pretty. Look how intense these eyeshadows are and I don't even have to wet it. It has been a while since I've done a cat eye, so let's see if I can still do this. Okay, I'm a little rusty, but that is better than I expected. <laughs> Not too shabby. You guys, I'm so proud right now. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stop messing with it right here because this could get ugly real fast. 
Um, and I am going to put on mascara because parts of my lashes look bald and I'm dying to try this mascara out. This is new from It Cosmetics and it's a collaboration with, um, it's a hair brand because it looks like a little miniature brush. I didn't do the bottom part of my eyes really quick. And I found another brush from the S on this Glam collection. I said it was five. I'm so sorry, Steph, if you're watching this. <laughs> There's actually six brushes total, so... At this point, I've used all of them. So yeah, I'm gonna go in. Ooh, that's pretty good. See my lashes? It's definitely like a lengthening mascara. I'm gonna keep my lips pretty simple. I'm just gonna line them with this color from ColourPop. This is called Shock O'Clock. I got this lip gloss from Hourglass and it is so good. So it's really, really nude. So that's why I wanted to put a little bit of color underneath. All right, so now for my highlighter, I actually just got some new highlights in from Ofra. This is the Madison Miller and Ofra collaboration. So I am gonna use this. This is the champagne one. Although, maybe I should use this one. This one's more like a pink for this one. I'm gonna try this one first. And I'm gonna go ahead and try it on my cheekbones and see how that goes. Ooh, that is intense. <gasps> wow. I was like bringing it down my collarbone. I don't even know if it's gonna show, but <laughs> I always think it's really pretty. So I think that is it for my makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and start on my hair. I went to go grab my little mini flat iron really quick. I'm gonna wear my hair like super straight and I'm probably gonna keep this headband on because I feel like it's gonna go with my outfit. I'm gonna use this right here. This is from Living Proof. It's the heat styling spray. I just got this in a PR package and it's supposed to help like protect your hair against frizz and also make it really shiny. I mean, it's supposed to protect your hair against heat and then also make it really shiny. Okay, let's go grab my hairbrush. Watch me. Just follow every move. Touch me. I bought these from Amazon, but I know they sold out. But I think Bubble Bar has some similar. I'll see if I can find some. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the outfit on. I may end up changing the earrings. It just depends how it looks with the top that I'm wearing, but. Yeah, this is the final look. Definitely have not done my makeup like this in a long time and I definitely miss the cat eyeliner. So happy with it. So here is my finished look and I did end up keeping the silk blouse, but I didn't wear shorts, I wore pants because I feel like this looks way better um, since I do have the silk blouse kind of tied up a little bit and you know, if I lift my arms, I might show my stomach. So I just felt like it was more balanced with leggings. So these are kind of like a khaki colored legging. Of course, I'm wearing my pink pointy toe shoes, which I wear like all the time and just my matching bag. And I did end up keeping the earrings. I think it looks really cute. So that is it. That is the finished outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and getting ready with me. And again, everything's gonna be linked down below and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.